Frankly, there's nothing more to say than chili dogs. And we're making our own chili. It'll be easy. I should uh, clarify that. We're making our own hot dog chili. And there's a difference to me. What is it? Excuse me. Sam. Thank you. Uh, regular chili has beans, big chunks of onions, tomato pieces, pepper pieces, that kind of stuff. To me, hot dog chili is finely ground beef in the chili sauce. That's kind of it. So there's a little bacon in mind. Who really cares? But it's meant to be just this whoosh, kunk, kunk, amazing kind of thing on top. It's going to be great. I got bacon in the pan. We're starting there. And to about a third of a pound of pretty finely chopped up bacon that at this point is about so oh, halfway between not cooked and getting crispy, we're going to add a pound of ground beef. Boom, like that. And just start to mix it in. And by mixing it in, I want this pretty finely ground up. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want big chunks of this. I want this about as small as you can get it. So just take your time. Over the next three, four minutes, it'll start to cook. And then you'll just break it up along the way. This is the perfect spot for you to flex your own individuality. If you don't want to use beef, you could use chicken. You could use ground turkey. You could use ground lamb. You could use ground Italian sausage. You could use a pretend beef, like the Beyond or the Impossible brands. Could you use, oh, Tofu Max? No. Yes. I suppose, you. I suppose you could. I don't know that you would get it the way, you, you probably could. Would it be the same? I don't know, but, but feel free to change this up the way you want. And back to the beef, when it's as, about as chopped up as you can get it for now and browned, for me, this is the perfect point to start adding the dry ingredients. And those will be onion powder, about a teaspoon, garlic powder, about a teaspoon, uh, chili powder, about a half a tablespoon. Big pinch of kosher salt. We'll mix this in. Now some wet ingredients. Eight ounces of tomato sauce. A couple of big tablespoons of ketchup. A tablespoon of Dijon. About a tablespoon of diced minced chipotle peppers. Yum! And a good splash of Worcestershire. Say it, Max. Say it. And we mix. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Beat me to it. Thank you, Slutbone. Wow. Let this do its thing for a couple minutes. And then we'll add one more little ingredient. Our final ingredient, some beer. Now I know you're looking at this, you're thinking, Sam, that is an awful lot of beer to add. Well, I shan't be adding all of this. I'll be adding about a quarter of a cup that looks like that. And then drinking the rest. You got a problem with that? My house, my beer, my rules. And then Max, you know what we do? We mix, mix it in. Bitch. We mix this in. So now, just let it simmer away here. Obviously, it's too liquidy to be chilly the way we want it for a dog. But in about, oh, 20 minutes, this is going to be majestic. And just before that, we'll come back and start prepping our dogs. And after about 20 minutes, there we have it. Look at all that moisture has evaporated. We've got perfect hot dog chili. Just waiting to be used. So let's get happening with our hot dogs. And here we are, big, beautiful beef dogs. Here's what I like to do. A little slice, we'll make three. 
And I could put these just like this on the Evo and get them going. Or my preferred way, I like to put little slits in. They open up, it looks cool. And I think it helps uh, get a little bit of the chili inside. It makes them a better dog. But you can also do them in twos like this. Do not want to cut all the way through. Just little slits. And on. Start with a tiny bit of oil. And on they go. Oh, hey, come on, get back over there. And now, look, you can see right away, the side that's cut down is starting to open up. That's fantastic. It's fantastic. So the dogs are cooking. The chili is done and ready. We have buns to get happening, and we're there. You gotta admit, that's one fine looking hot dog, right? And all I've done so far is put those little slits in it. It's the best trick ever. Yeah, this is how you take your hot dogs from amateur to professional. Thank you. And here is our bun of choice. It's a brioche bun, a little sweeter, that will counteract the uber savoriness of what is about to go in it. But you can see they're split on the top, much like you would get if it was a lobster roll kind of bun. What I like is the way this sets you up for perfect chili dog presentation. So we're gonna open them up like this. And now the obvious thing to do would be to put butter on here and then get them golden on the flat top. Correct, Max? Hell yeah. Well, we're not using butter today. Do you know what we're using? Mayo, I know it's gonna be mayo. We're using mayo. You hadn't even seen it yet. And there's two reasons why we're using mayo. You're obsessed? Well, it's not just that I'm obsessed. It's that it will show people that this will cook just like any fat and not be over the top mayoized. That's one. And two, more importantly, I'm absolutely out of butter. <laughs> and so this is the moment you have to step up and do something with what you've got. Okay, let's get these on and we're almost there. We let those get golden and life's about to get really delicious. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. In a couple sacks, these guys are coming off and we're building, Max. Here we go. Let's get these guys off. Perfection, perfection. All right, dogs next. One, two, and three. Beautiful, huh? Max, I forgot onion. So hold on, let's just do this. I don't need a lot. Perfect. It's chili time and on we go. And by the way, if you like our work, hit the like button, the notification bell, but more importantly, tell a friend. We love new people. Well, I do, Max doesn't, but I love new people. Max, a little combo cheese. When I say a little, I mean a little. Let's give these a little melt, okay? Do it. Just a little. I feel like if people are gonna give me shit for anything, it's because I didn't just dump a truckload of cheese on top of it. This is not a chili cheese dog, this is a chili dog with some cheese. You make it the way you want, but this is perfect for me. Just a little. And now the micro red onion. And there you have it. My favorite chili dog Scratch, but dog simple chili, just waiting to be consumed. Lightly toasted bun, slightly melted cheese, snap of the red onion, life will be great.
At this point, we have one decision to make, Max, and it's called eeny, meeny, miny. Shall we? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a hot dog by its toe if you... I'm just taking this one for damn sakes. And, and it, look, it feels good. This is the thing. The textural differences, crispy here, crispy inside, but the brioche is a soft, delicious bun. This is cooked beautiful. Come on, can we just eat this? Too much talking.